I'm going to show you guys one of the best trading methods on FIFA 22 right now that you can use to get your coins up. But before we jump into that, I need to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, boys, so jumping into this trading method, what we're going to be looking at is what I like to call the gold shadow trading method. So what this is going to be in short is basically trading with players that already have the shadow chemistry style applied to them. So why exactly do we do that is basically because the shadow chemistry style itself has a lot of value to it. If we take a look at it, it sells for usually around like 3000 coins. So naturally, players that already have that shadow chemistry style applied applied to them have a lot more value because now someone doesn't have to go buy that chem style to put on them it's already applied to them but what you'll find for example is a lot of times cards that are that have it applied to them will get listed for cheap because people don't realize that it kind of adds value to them so for example if we look at like ryan frederick's price here this is a guy that always works well for this he sells for about 18 1900 coins but if we look at him with a shadow applied to him and we look at the prices there's cards listed for like 39 3800 coins as you can see there because he's already got a shadow applied to him so he sells for more and just as an example right before the video i actually went up went and picked up one of his cards when i was looking at his price and when i was just doing this method real quick picked one up for 2000 coins gonna list him 3500 right there which is very nice so let's get into how exactly you can do this method. So what you want to do is obviously you're going to go gold rare shadow cards. And the first thing you can do here is the simplest method is just going to be bidding. So set a max bid price of about like 2000 coins here, and then just go through and start looking for cards that look like they could potentially be great deals here. So for example, a Kovacic with a shadow, I don't think Kovacic with a shadow is going to go for more than Kovacic without a shadow to be honest but i know that kovacic goes for more than the coins there if i look at him with a shadow he's selling for about 3500 coins it looks like now if i look at him without a shadow he is actually going to go for a lot more by the looks of things so I know this card is go, gonna go for about 3,500 coins. So I'm gonna keep an eye on him here because we could potentially get him for about 1,000 coins here. And this is gonna apply to any card. A lot of people are gonna think, are gonna look at Kovic's normal price here and that's what they're gonna be willing to bid on him. So if we take a look at his price right now, he is currently selling what 1400 coins there let me see it looks like people are going to probably bid to about 1400 coins here but i know with a shadow he can sell for over 3000 coins here so i'm going to bid 1500 here i kind of doubt anybody bids here again unless somebody recognizes he has a shadow and he's going to sell for more here and again just to show you guys quickly i don't want to miss out on the bid but with a shadow here, he had one card, I think, listed for about 3,600. Let's take a look. There's one there for 3,500 that just got listed. So something you can take that I'm going to add in here that you can take into account as well is if a card is position changed. For example, if this Kovacic was position changed to a striker and he had a shadow on him, that would add even more value because, again, people don't have to apply position modifiers. He's already modified. So it's just kind of anything that's added onto a card already will add value to it. So, again, this is going to be the simplest of the methods for this video. It's just going to be bidding on cards. And you can see Kovacic, just like that, we've gone and picked up for 1500 and he sells for about 3500 Now, with these methods, you need to list for typically heavy undercuts. So there were cards for 37 3800 there, one for 3500 I'm going to list mine for 3300 because there's not. it's not like there's tons and tons of people out there trying to pick Kovacic with a shadow up. So yours needs to be, by a decent amount, kind of the cheapest card on the market. I'm going to list them 3200 there. That's still 17 1500 coins profit i'm interested to see if frederick sold not yet so we'll wait on him and again typically these cards take a little bit of time to sell maybe even like a couple listings because it has to be someone that's going to look for frederick's with a shadow or kovacic with a shadow so that's something to keep in mind now on to our next method what you can do is basically sniping and what you want to do for sniping is there used to be an old way of like compare price and sitting on the 59th minute but now that's a little more difficult with where the market's at so what i like to do is basically just set 
quality gold rare chemistry style shadow and what i'll do is just set a price range to the point where it is very quick for me to get to the 59th minute if ea would let us load here i could show you what we're doing come on come on help us out if not okay here we go so what i'll do is i'll basically just set something to the point where it's easy for me to get to the 59th minute and what i like to do is set like a max bid price of like a thousand or 1200 and then i'll set a max buy now of like 5k or so and you can see i can quickly scroll and get to the 59th minute here so now i have a look at these cards and i quickly recognize if any of these are deals or not so you have to have a general idea of what the prices are you don't really have to have them memorized so mukieli is there for 2k someone picked up this rudiger already so he must be a great deal for 3200 and then there's a valverde with a shadow converted to a striker there as well part of me thinks he might go for a decent amount here let me have a look valverde with a shadow sells four let's see here it looks like we've got a deal there then he sells for about 4700 here so that one that was sitting there as a striker was actually a decent deal actually he was sitting there for 5k as a striker so it's not a great deal he he'll he'll sell here but he's not going to be one we want to pick up and basically this is going to be a method that you just sit here refresh scroll to the 59th minute boom if there's no deals i quickly take a look back out and then just refresh the market here and then go back again so this is just something you can do over and over and over and just to give you an idea renato to mori again you'll have to get accustomed to the prices but even sometimes you won't even really have to know the prices you you'll just be able to like get some good deals randomly oh is this a good deal to mori talk to me nice buddy not really oh one just popped up 2500 beautiful just like that you can see even when you're just checking prices i was gonna see if this one for 33 was a deal one pops up for 2500 we'll list him 3200 and get some easy coins off of that but yeah once you get used to the prices this will be a method that you can just rapidly crank out cards over and over and make some really really good coins off of it and like i said you don't even have to know the prices and you can get deals for example i was showing this on stream some of you may have been there like a week or so ago and i was looking and i randomly just picked up a fred with a shadow for like literally like 1800 coins and the guy sells for like 4k oh my goodness give me that deal on fred i mean i'm gonna list this guy 3900 here why not we'll take that fred cdm i also got him position changed and that's why he went for 5k but we'll list this guy up 3900 there easy coins you can see the deals will just roll in you just need to be on this bidding sniping no matter what you can pick these cards up boys so get on this method let me know how it is for you but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video